Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusilla Lachey, if you don't know already. And today I am going to be talking to you guys about how I dress for my top heavy body type. I do love my body type. I am not opposed to my body type, but I do believe that there are certain styles that suit me more than others. And so I dress according to that. Now, of course, this video is not pressuring anyone or telling anyone to dress a certain way. However, if you are looking to dress in a way where your body looks a little bit more proportional and your top half doesn't look even more exaggerated, then I think that these tips will be helpful for you. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. Now for context, I am a 32G, but I recently discovered that I actually fit a 30H a little bit better. In a lot of my pictures, you might not be able to tell as much, but the reason why is number one, that I wear the right Bra. Now I used to wear sizes that were so ill-fitting. Compared to what I have now, I can see the difference. I can feel the difference. Before I was wearing sizes like a 34D, which at that time I thought that that was my proper size. But it turns out that me wearing that size actually made my top half look even bigger. My boobs were also busting out of the bra because it just was not the right size, which I don't mind having larger breasts, but I also don't want it looking exaggerated. I want it to look, you know, like, like how my boobs look. When I started wearing the correct size, my breasts actually stayed contained in the bra and they looked more compact. Like they didn't look like they were so large anymore. So I definitely believe that when you wear the wrong bra size, it shows and it's very pronounced if you have larger breasts. So another thing that I do to balance out my body a little bit more when I'm dressing up is to wear peplum. Now I know peplum styles are not for everyone. Sometimes it's a little too girly for me too. It really depends on the style and it depends on what mood I'm in. What peplum does is it pronounces the bottom half a little bit more. Whether you're wearing a peplum skirt, a peplum top, because of the style, it brings out the bottom a little bit more. So it actually balances out with your heavier top half. And I love to wear peplum when I'm wearing things like low rise pants, because as I'm gonna talk about more later, low rise pants can actually make your top half look even more exaggerated, especially if you are top heavy. And so if I am gonna wear low rise pants or if I'm gonna wear a pencil skirt, a lot of the times I will wear a peplum top. So something that I do quite often, which I've also mentioned in my dressing for my body types video, if you haven't seen that, I will put it up here, but I'll also leave it down in the description box. Something I do very often is to wear looser pants. Wearing looser pants, once again, it helps to balance it out. It really is a balancing act, right? If you want to balance two things, if one is a little heavier or a little bit bigger, you'll put something on the other side that's a little heavier or a little bit bigger, just so it can look balanced. And so it's the same thing with our body types. If your body type is a little bit heavier or bigger at the top, you want to do something to the bottom that's a little bit larger or a little bit looser to balance it out with the top. And so when you wear looser bottoms, such as balloon pants or wide leg pants or A-line skirts and puffy skirts and puffy dresses and puffy skirts, things like that, it really helps to bring out your bottom half which will then not bring so much attention to your top half. So something that I definitely avoid as someone who is top heavy are short, tight skirts. Short, tight skirts always make the top half look way more pronounced if your top half is heavy. It makes me look so much more like va va voom, voluptuous up here. I now, my personal preference is to not wear anything that is low rise unless I'm wearing some sort of peplum top, as I mentioned earlier. The reason why I don't do low rise, which I also mentioned in my dressing for my body sides video, is because it shortens your hips and it does not pronounce your waist. It stops pretty much at the middle of your hips. And so it really doesn't accentuate that curvature going on. It actually also accentuates your torso. And if you're top heavy, accentuating the torso is probably not gonna look as flattering because you already have a lot going on at the top. But if I wear 
high rise or high waist jeans i'm also accentuating my hips because now the pant is going to go over the hips and it's going to meet at the waist and bring in the waist and so it really helps to bring dimension to the body when it comes to me wearing tight outfits i always find a way to accentuate my waist whether that's through a belt or whether that's through high-waisted pants i always accentuate my waist because not only my top heavy, I'm just like slim in general. So I like to bring some more dimension to my body, break it up a little bit more. And so you're not only seeing boob, body, 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 body. It's like, you know, you're seeing boob, you're seeing the waist, you're seeing the hips. You know, you're like breaking it up so that you could see the different parts. And it's not like all your attention just goes to one Place. So another thing that I do is I wear a lot of playful dresses and playful skirts and stuff. When I say playful, I mean things that flare, things that are puffy, things that are A-line. Like I like to wear a lot of dresses like that because it really does balance me out. Sometimes I do wear tight dresses, but a lot of times I do wear a belt when I wear those tight dresses because once again, your girl's trying to pronounce the waist. So something that I love to wear as someone who is top heavy are wrap dresses. They flatter me so much and believe it or not, if you're big breasted, this is the dress that works for you and literally every body type. I don't think I've ever seen a wrap dress look bad on someone. I love it because it's so classy and the way that it drapes the boobs, it's not even like it shows much cleavage. Like the way that it's designed, it kind of like covers up this part. It comes low, but it covers up this part. And so you actually are not really showing much cleavage at all when it comes to most wrap dresses. There are definitely some wrap dresses that will have you showing it all, but a lot of wrap dresses too, they still come in lower in the neckline and it just comes and wraps the boobature up so nicely. Like it just always looks so classy. So if you're looking for a dress that will not fail you, wrap dresses. So something that I always avoid as a tall, slim woman and as someone who is top heavy, drop waist things. Oh my goodness. I hate the way drop waist looks on me. What it does is it really accentuates the torso. I do not enjoy accentuating my torso since i do have large boobs it just does not even break up my body for me where i want it to break it up it breaks it up at the bottom of my waist i don't have much hope in drop waist i have one drop waist dress because that was the one exception so when it comes to my large breasts something that normally always flatters me deep these that don't show cleavage and square necklines always looks great on me always looks really classy always makes the boobs look great something that i always keep in mind as someone who's more top heavy is that wherever there's a brighter color that part will be accentuated and so if you have a really bright shirt on highlighter shirt and black bottoms that top part will definitely be accentuated and be screaming at the people shapes colors all these things give illusions and so if you are wearing a really bright top your top part is going to look more exaggerated if you're wearing a really bright bottom your bottom is going to look more exaggerated not exaggerated in a bad sense but it may look a little larger than usual or it may look a little bit more you know fuller than it usually does color always matters the last thing that i want to say is that i'm super aware of stripes when you're wearing horizontal stripes it gives the illusion that you're wider when you're wearing vertical stripes it gives the illusion that you're longer and slimmer if you don't want your top half to look even more pronounced i would definitely avoid wearing stripes that go this way a lot of times i actually don't like the way it makes me look because it makes me look wider at the top and slimmer at the bottom the direction of the stripes they make a difference for all my larger breasted people out there i am with you and i hope that these tips were helpful for you if you have any further tips i would love to hear it down below in the comments box please not forget to subscribe before you leave because i'm clocking you i post videos every sunday so make sure that you stay tuned for that lastly go ahead and turn on that bell notification button so that anytime i post you will be up to date all right guys thank you for tuning in and i will see you in my next video bye